Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk through some things that I've noticed that are not working or that I need to revamp with my current notebook that I'm using. Let me just say that I'm the kind of person that I like to figure things out like on my own. And this is this video is just me talking through some things like um, ultimately I will do what I want to do at the end of it all or but I'm just talking through it. So this is my Moleskine expanded notebook that I cut down to a standard size on my own with a box cutter and some scissors. I have my main planning system in it. You can go watch a lot of the video series that I have. Usually I've been putting them in this notebook along with my monthly, which is a separate notebook. Let me get that. Um, I've been putting that in, this is my monthly, this is where I do my future planning. Um, I've been putting that in like a Carpe DM or a Webster Pages TN and use it like a folio. I'll take out the elastics because I don't like to put this big old book, 400 pages in the TN strands because it will have a lot of stress on it. So what I've been doing is I cut the spine out so it won't fold into itself. And what I've been doing is just putting this flap in whatever cover I'm in. Now that I'm almost through August, I have September in here to start as well. It is, is becoming um, where it's pressure on this part here. So uh, I took it out. And this is like on its own. And here is my monthly on its own. I looked in a lot of the covers that I have. And I mean, they would essentially put stress on here. I've used a cover on cover and try to slip that through the um, strings. That's going to put pressure on my plastic. I also um, made like a little makeshift insert that um would it adhere to this with washi that way this wouldn't go in the flap that insert would but the problem with that is it's not sturdy enough and i don't have anything in my supplies to you know make it work to where it's not sliding all over the place in the in the cover so my remedy right now is to rethink how i'm going to use the moleskine in October. So at first I thought I'm going to use my steology for October, November. In fact, I have it all the way set up and this is an A5 cut to a standard. And I thought, okay, well, that's fine. I'll use this. Well, I have fell in, I have fell in love with the moleskine paper and I love the grid. I love the 400 note, you know, notebook filling it all the way up. I love the distinctiveness. I love that it's always laying flat wherever I'm at in the notebook. So I know that the moleskine is going to work for me. Um, so for right now, I am putting my monthly in a separate TN as it stands, I'm using my personal, I have a journal that I started. So, and then I have do my pretty planning in um, a personal wide. I also have that to accommodate in a TN as well. So what I thought is you can put your monthly in its own strand in this beautiful TN that you stopped using basically. And because I use my monthly maybe about once or twice a week, the both of these notebooks would need to be nearby. Now, there are some really good, cool advantages to this because now I have an excuse to use a TN in the same size. I should say my, my moleskine is a tad bit wider than a regular TN, but... It is standard size. It's like literally like a little less. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not a measurement gal. So I just go to chop in 
with my box cutter and my scissors when I cut down any notebook to standard size. So anyhow, I thought it would be cool to use this notebook again and because I would be in it essentially every day, if I need to go to my monthly, I can have my monthly out, um, I can have my week out, and then just use the both to plan or wherever I'm at. Um, like say for instance, we're here, um, I can make sure that we're not missing anything, or if I've added something here, I can definitely add it here. So I now have a few options. I will say I love the way this feels in my hands by itself. I love the, the I just, I don't know. It's something about this notebook being all by itself that I'm like, oh wow, like wonderful. I did create a cover on cover for it. And this was an A5 Hobonichi cover on cover. It basically um, looked like this. I just sliced it this off and I could place it in here if I need to. Um, but I, I, I'm, liking, I'm liking having this all by itself right now. So maybe when October comes, cause I have a whole new fresh moleskin waiting for me to be used for whenever I want to, which in this case would be October. Maybe I'll just do one month in, like when I get to October, I'll do October in one book and then the rest would be completely notes. And I will just use one month at a time in a 400 page notebook. I write so much that it would be easy for me to do that and fill up the, the notebook. And then I could, and this is just an option that I'm toying around with. And then it could be like, me getting a chance to use a new notebook every month and that is so exciting to me standard is where it's at i i do believe that i'll just stay with standard for a little bit i was in the b6 slim from february to july and that is a great size but standard is where i'm feeling all of the things i do feel that maybe in the future maybe next year i will do maybe like an a5 slim um you know, just like the regular, let me see, I don't have one around me, but like the regular, this is an A5 Slim, this size. This right here holds my standard great because I can put it in the flap right here and then it's good to go. But see, the problem is this one little back part is holding this whole book and it just gets strained here. So I'm toying with the idea of using an A5, um, the Moleskine, you know, hardcover um, as it stands like this, you know, later in the near future. But I, I, something about the soft cover is so nice. I don't know. So I just thought I would come chat about all this because it's something that I'm coming across with using the soft cover. I've already had to cut the spine. Um, I tip in things, I use washi, I use stickers, so it gets really big really fast. And again, I really love the moleskin paper. I don't see myself using anything else, so I'm really trying to make this work because I want to stick with what I love. So anyhow, if you see me <laughs> with the TN um, and this, you know what I'm doing. And then also the beauty of this is when I get tired of journaling in here and doing my pretty planning in here, I have, I can change around my TN inserts. I have so many TN inserts that I could use. My monthly will stay in here, of course, but it's just like an excuse for me to play around with my TN as well, because essentially the both of these would work together because my monthly's in there. So this system will never change. If I want to right now go into an A5, a pocket, an A6, blank notebook, I can take my system along with me because I know it completely works for me. So I just thought I would come and chat with y'all and just let you know some of the things that I was coming up against with using the Moleskine soft cover and, you know, having a big, big chunky book. God bless you guys.